Hey, what's going on? My name is Hans, and in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you about Qmetry Voyager. In this tutorial, we'll go to Amazon.com and use Voyager to document a theoretical bug in the website's code. In Voyager, testers can record the steps they took to locate a bug, as well as perform exploratory testing that captures crucial details for developers. So, before we can begin, you'll want to install a Jira add-on from the Atlassian Marketplace, as well as the Chrome extension from the Chrome Web Store. Both things can be found right on your screen. So assuming you've downloaded our Voyager extension already, let's begin by opening it up. You'll need to pass in your credentials to log into the system, so you'll want to go ahead and input your Jira URL, your username, and your password, and then just click login. So now we're ready to dive into Voyager's functionality. Voyager allows us to highlight a defect in two distinct ways. We can log it on the spot without initiating a recording, or we can record our process of locating a bug before logging it. Let's first log a defect on the spot without any recording. To begin this process, we can navigate to Amazon.com, then simply click the Log Defect button at the top right corner of the extensions window, right here. So I'll go ahead and navigate to Amazon. Open Voyager back up, and just click on Log Defect. So as you can see, Voyager immediately responds by taking a screenshot of our browser's window and opening it in a new tab. Within this new tab, we can perform various edits to our screenshot to clearly indicate where the defect is located. Let's try drawing an arrow and adding some text to indicate the defect. For example, let's say that the search bar isn't allowing us to input any text. We can draw an arrow using the tools provided to us at the top of the screen, then fill out the boxes on the side to provide more details. So let's go ahead and draw that arrow. There we go. And then over here on the right, we can select the project, provide a summary, which is basically the title of our defects. So let's say search bar not. Working. And add some more details in the description box. So, unable to input, whoops, input text into the search bar at the top of the screen. Then we can select an assignee and go ahead and log defect. So, upon clicking log defect, this is uploaded to our Jira account. And when it's finished, we'll get a notification at the top of the screen, as you can see right here. So now we can simply just exit out of this tab and be on our way. On over to Jira now, we'll see that our bug that we logged has made it into our Jira account right here. And we can look at all these different details. So, for example, we have the basic details like that it is a bug. We have assigned it a priority. We have the person who assigned it. We have our description that we gave it. But most importantly, we have our environment details as well as the screenshot that we took along with the edits that we made to that screenshot. Now it's time to go over the other method of documenting defects, which is creating a recording session. So here at Amazon.com, we can click on the Voyager extension again to bring back up the Create Session pane. And we can enter a name for our session, as well as any tags or extra notes we'd like to include, and then click on the Start Recording button. So I'm going to go ahead and say, let's see, Amazon add to carts. And then I'll just go ahead and start recording. So, as you've probably noticed, as soon as we click Start Recording, the extension icon turns into a flashing red dot, indicating that recording had successfully been initiated. So now, I'll go ahead and locate a product and add it to my cart. So I've really been wanting a Nintendo Switch these days, so I'll go ahead and add that. Okay, let's click on that one right there. Click on Add to Cart. And there we go. 
So, let's say that this is where I notice a defect. I can go ahead and click on the flashing red dot, and I have multiple options here. I can log the defect with the bug button right here. I can create audio for this recording and say some stuff that I otherwise wouldn't have added before by clicking on this audio recording button right here. Or I can start an annotation, or I'm sorry, an assertion right here. So I'll go ahead and log defects using the same process that we used before. A new tab will open, as you can see, and we have all the tools that we had before as well. And the screenshot has been taken of the current page that we're on. So I'll go ahead, change the project, project first of all, add an arrow right here. And let's say search bar not working. Unable to input text into the search bar. And let's say the admin is our assignee. We'll log that defect. Same thing as before, it'll upload it to Jira. Once it's done, we get that notification at the top of the screen. It's important to note, as is written at the bottom over here, that when we're in the middle of recording a session, if we choose to log a defect, that session over in the other tab is automatically paused and remains paused until we X out of this tab. So as you'll see shortly, I X out of this tab, and recording begins once again. So. Now that I'm done recording and done logging my bug, I'll go ahead and terminate this recording session with the stop button right here. And it'll change to an uploading icon over here, saying that it's uploading the session to Jira. And once it's done, as you can see, the icon returns to normal. So I'll head on over to Jira to confirm our upload. If you log into your Jira account, Click on the Voyager drop-down, and under Recorded Sessions right here, just click on Sessions. Give that a second to load. And we see the session that we just created right here. So I'll go ahead and click on our Amazon Add to Cart recording. And Voyager supplies all of these uh, fantastic details over here. We have multiple screens uh, for each part of our recording as well as other details in document and event detail tabs over here. The document tab, you'll see that we have automatically generated each step that was taken to reach our bug, as well as automatically generated screenshots showing each step. The best part about all of this is that we can create a test case exported to qtm for j So if you go over to this button right here, and click on Push to Qmetry Test Manager for Jira. You can select a project, so my project is Test, and click Export. From here, it's given a new test case number. Ours is 3710. Now let's check out the Event Detail tab more closely. As you can see, we have all the steps here that we have in the Document tab. This time, we have very crucial information which is very important to developers. So if you look over to your right, you'll see we have properties and values for numerous things like your relative X path, the text content that was put into the search box, various other attributes, etc. Basically, if you're a tester giving this information to a developer, you are really helping them out in terms of allowing them to pinpoint exactly where the error is. Now if we go ahead and visit our Jira account, let's just refresh that real quick. We can see here that all of those details have been exported to qtm for j as a brand new test case. If we scroll down here, you'll see all of those steps from Voyager that we just exported. So as you can see, by streamlining the way that testers communicate bugs to developers, Qmetry Voyager is a very robust tool. I hope you enjoyed and found this video informative, and happy testing.